All right, so what I'm going to go over today is a little bit of um, uh, just kind of basic SEO. I've had some clients recently, uh, when I either talk with them on the phone or, or uh, meet them in person, they've got some misconceptions about SEO. Um, so I wanted to kind of cover what my approach is and my stance is on uh, search engine optimization. Um, one of the things I had a client that I met with yesterday who had signed up with a company, I won't mention the company's name, but what they do is they guarantee first page results on Google um, or you don't pay anything. They charge a $600 setup fee and then they charge $200 a month from then on out. Now, the, the guarantee with that, um, what they do is, I, after talking to the client, is they actually ask for 50 keywords. So when you have 50 keywords to go after, the, um, uh, the difficulty for getting all 50 of those keywords is, is insane. But to get just one of those keywords to number 10, um, to get your website to number 10 for just one of those keywords is enough to satisfy the, uh, the, the terms of their guarantee. And then they don't have to refund you with your money. So the other thing, um, and probably the more important thing, is that for whatever keywords you go after, Unless they've got enough searches per month, you're not going to see a, 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 um, any traffic from those. Additionally, if you're not really in the top three for a keyword that gets plenty of traffic, then your site's not going to get any traffic either. So, um, you know, if, if you hire an SEO company and they get you to number six or number seven for a keyword that only gets 200 hits a month, you're likely to see, you're going to see little to no traffic to your website. So it's important to, to, to go after keywords that are, that are targeted um, to your industry, targeted to uh, your location. Um, here in Palm Springs and Palm Desert, uh, I like to tie uh, keywords to, to the location, to Palm Springs or Palm Desert or La Quinta or Indio or wherever you're at. So um, kind of all that being said, that's why I wanted to discuss this a little bit. Because um, typically what I do is I try to go after three keywords. Um, three keywords is enough uh, to allow you to, um, uh, three keywords allows you enough flexibility to, to, to rank well um, for a couple different keywords, which is nice. But, uh, but the main reason you do this is because you don't know which of these three you're going to rank well for. So if we're going to do, if we're going to um, do a website for a plumber, okay, three of the keywords I might go after um, here locally would be Palm Springs Plumber. We'll go after Plum Desert Plumber, and then maybe we'll do uh, Plumbers in Palm Desert. Okay, so now off the top of my head, I don't know what this, what, how many searches are done per month for these three keywords. Okay, so Palm Springs Plumber, Palm Desert Plumber, and then Plumbers in Palm Desert. Uh, but what we will do is the way SEO works off-site. Um, let me well, let me let me step back a second. Let me go over on-site. Okay, so this is this is one of the things that most uh, people come to me. They say, you know, um, I want to make sure that uh, I have the words Palm Springs Plumber in my domain name. Um, that's important initially, but really after six months in the in the long run, it doesn't matter at all. Just think of um, Monster.com and what that has to do with jobs and uh, you know, there, there's a ton of websites out there that are just gibberish. I mean, Yelp, um, uh, uh, you know, Facebook doesn't have anything to do with the name. The actual words Facebook has nothing to do with social media. So in the short term, yes, using keywords as part of your domain name is important. Um, in the long run, not really, because what's really important to Google and the other search engines is, is what your site says, but even more importantly, what other sites, uh, you know, outside of your site have to say. So... What we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of explain how we would use Palm Springs Plumber on-site and then also how we'll do it off-site. I'm going to start off by just covering a couple things that you can do on-site, what matters and what doesn't. So Google just came out with a, uh, they just released a video a few weeks ago that kind of covers, um, it's a 10 minute video that kind of covers SEO for small businesses and uh, there they change their algorithm a couple hundred times a month, but there's maybe once or twice a year there's a major change that will shift Google rankings for a lot of websites. So the most recent one was uh, was, was, was Penguin. Um, 
and then the one before that was Panda. So, but anyway, what they did was with Penguin, they took sites that are over optimized and they kind of they, they dinged them because they, people were manipulating the system. So if we're going to go after Palm Springs plumbers, you're going to have some text, and then you're going to put the keyword in, and then you're going to have some more text, more text, more text, do another keyword, more text, more text, keyword, so on and so forth. There's a specific ratio that Google's looking for, and if you inundate your text on your website with too many keywords, then Google's going to ding you, and you're not going to rank well. Um, even if these are different keywords, if this is keyword one, this is keyword two, and keyword three, although that might be okay if you do it too too much, they're going to ding you. Um, so that's why you need to kind of spread this around a little bit. You want to do related keywords uh, that'll get you, that are, that's going to draw the same crowd or the same audience that you're looking for, uh, but not the same ones. And you want to make sure that the density of those keywords on your site isn't too high. You know, um, for you might want it to appear once for every hundred words or so. So. Um, so that's that. So when you're writing copy for your homepage or whatever, just keep that to a minimum and try to sprinkle in those three keywords. Only use them once or twice. Um, uh, a couple areas that you can uh, do some search engine optimization yourself is on page titles. Um, for like WordPress sites, this this can be um, the uh, blog blog entry title. All right, so you might want to see you might if if you're doing a WordPress site, you might want to um, in your blog title or in your page titles, you you're going to throw in your keyword. You you know so um, if we're going after Palm Desert plumbers for this one, um, you might want to say uh, you know you might want to title your page the best. Palm Desert Plumbers. Okay, so that might be your page title. And then as you go through and you write your text, just kind of like what we covered before, you'll want to use Palm Desert Plumbers once in there. You might want to use Palm Springs Plumbers because, you know, you're being 10, 10 miles away from each other. You're going to deal with a lot of the same uh, customers. Um, you can also reword these, okay, so the best plumbers, you know, the best plumbers in Palm Desert. However you want to work it, but it, you need to move it around a little bit, but you want to keep some of these, uh, the, you know, the same and at least related. So, um, so page titles. Um, now, if, again, if you're editing your site yourself, or if you're having somebody edit the site for you, you might have images in there. So there's um, image titles, or alt tags, okay? So what will happen is, let's say, for example, you upload a picture. Again, we're, we're using the, the, just use the plumbing example. If you're going to upload a picture of you standing by your plumbing van or you standing in front of your real estate listing or whatever, whatever it is, try to use a keyword in that image. Um, and if you're going to use a, if you're using an editor on your website like WordPress or Joomla or Drupal, if you're using an editor or if you're using Dreamweaver or something else offline, it's, it'll let you. It'll give you access to the alt tags, and you just fill this in. There's just a little box that you fill in. So you just, you know, you, know, you might want to say, um, you know, Joe Smith, uh, Palm Desert Plumber. Okay, and that might be your your alt tag for the image. So. And then also for the title, so somebody hovers, somebody hovers their mouse over the picture, you'll you'll get this little thing up. But the real reason you're doing this, you don't care. Well, you do care about your your visitors, but this is all stuff that we're doing for Google's algorithm because we want them to to know that your site is per, is pertinent to people that are looking for Palm Desert plumbers, plumbers in Palm Desert, Palm Springs plumbers, so on and so forth. All right. So those are a few things that you can do on your website. Um, again, kind of go, going back to the text. So, if this is your if this is your home page, and you've got text, okay. So you've got text. What you'll want to do is if you've got a keyword here, a 
a separate keyword here. One of the things that you can do is to, to let Google know that uh, that's what this page pertains to, that you're a Palm Desert plumber or Palm Springs plumber, is you can bold those keywords. So I'm just, you know, I'm just highlighting my little KWs here, but you can bold those. All right. The other thing you can do is you can italicize them. All right. So if you italicize them, you bold them. Also, we've got headers. Okay. So your home page, like I said earlier, we might do the best palm desert plumber. Okay. So if this is a blog entry or this is the title of your page on your website, um, this will be in the page title, but also you can set this up as a header. So Google is going to look for things that are, that, are, that are within header tags. So if you've got a drop-down box, what you'll do is you'll highlight this entire text. If there's a drop-down box on WordPress or Joomla, or um, you, you can do it through, through Dreamweaver, um, or you know, some of those free HTML editors out there if you're doing this stuff yourself, but you'll want to put these yeah, and make this into like an H1 or an H2, okay? H1 and H2 just it's it's just short for uh, header one and header two. So what that does is, and you've seen this around the internet, you'll see the regular text might have might have a uh, you know might be a 12 point, so like text will be like this, but header text will be real big and real and bold, okay? So anytime you see large text at the top of a page or near the top of the page, there's usually a title there or whatnot. That's the header text. So you want to make sure that you know, that on your page you're using um, or you want to try to. It's, it, all this is kind of up in the air, all right? So I don't want you to think that you have to do this on every single page because if you do this too much and do it on every single page, then Google's going to ding you. That's what that's what came out in this uh, this last uh, Penguin update with their algorithm. All right. So those are but those are some things that you can do on site. Um, now, if you do this, if you have a website and you're going to start suddenly going after Palm Desert Plumber, Palm Springs Plumber, and Plumber in Palm Springs, then on-site SEO is only going to get you so far. You might settle naturally at number nine on the first page, but number nine isn't good enough for you. You need to be at number one, two, or three if you're going to get any clicks. Google hasn't, um, it, it, it's kind of a secret as to how, what clicks are done where. But AOL, back when they were um, the top dog for search engines, this is the only thing that's ever been leaked, was AOL had a report that ended up going out on the Internet that explained that 85% of all clicks were being done in the first three positions. So it's highly likely that, that, that that's still the case. Okay, so right, roughly that much. I can tell you from a personal standpoint that... Uh, for whatever keywords that I'm ranking for, the difference between number one and number three is is double the amount of phone calls I get a week or, or quote requests I get from the website. So it's a big deal between one and number three. And I have sites that I sit at number six, number seven on that I get no phone calls for. So And especially if you're dealing with a local market, you're going to have that same problem. You're going to have the same issue. So um, so I, I, that's some of the stuff that does matter on site. What doesn't matter is something that's really easy to change is your meta uh, keywords and your meta description. Okay, so um, a lot of people know where to find this on their site. Um, it's it's usually in your uh, your, your main home pages index.html file. Um, in WordPress and in Joomla and content management systems, there's actually a box in the control panel where you can set these. That stuff matters not a bit. Okay, so uh, with the new Penguin, uh, with the new Penguin uh, update, it does not matter at all. So, um, although you do want to keep it relevant, don't worry about it. Just set it up once and then and then walk away. Okay. Um, <clears throat>